review here. When I was in Orlando just a week or so ago, picking out my top 50 award for the US Kids list of best teachers, I actually stumbled across this really cool putting training aid called from Blast Golf. So I'm going to do a little product review because it's a really, really cool way you can train your putting, not under the watchful eye of a coach, but it gives you feedback that you can send to your coach and they'll understand exactly how you can get better using this little device. It's kind of cool. So it comes in a box and believe it or not, it's this little sensor. Now on this sensor, it has a little man. So a little stick man. So what you want to do, according to them, is you take the stopper that goes over the end of your putting grip and you line up the stick man with the face of your putter. So you pull the rubber cover up over the sensor. Now the app is free on the App Store. It's under Blast Golf. And this sensor is sold in the App Store and stuff like that. And, I'm sorry, the Apple Store. And it's about $149. Now, once you've got it attached, it looks like this. You can see how the stick man is attached. You have it loaded into your iPad, so I've got it up on the main screen here. And all you're going to do is press the record button on the far left. Up pops the recording screen. Now the really cool thing about this blast sensor is it only records when you putt. So you're going to hear when it records, it's going to let you know. And I'm going to hit three putts, and then we're going to come back and review it and see how it helps. So you hear it as it automatically senses the stroke. It shows that it's recording, but in actual fact, it's only recording the motion when you actually make the putt. Now what's the advantage for that? Well, you can stand on the putting green and hit 10 putts in a row and go and find and look which one was the best. You can hit a whole bunch. and then review them. So let's see how I did here. You X out out of the screen, it comes back to the screen that shows the three putts that I created. So you'll notice that they are in various different, right now, I've got some that I've already done and they're different colors. Green means it's good, red, bad, blue is best. So you can color code those and I'll show you quickly how you can do that. So, let's go and take a look at this middle one. So, my loft decreased when I made the stroke by one degree. If I press this, this is the putt itself, you'll notice it shows the video replay and it actually shows me making that stroke. So now as you swipe across the screen, it shows you that the lie of my putter decreased, okay, by 0.4 degrees. My rotational change, so this is pretty interesting and important. It changed by 0.6 of a degree. If you notice on this putt, I missed it to the left. So I had a rotational change from my backward rotation of 3.3 degrees to my forward rotation of 3.9. So that change of 0.6 can mean me missing a putt from six feet. The cool thing about this is it gives me my tempo. It was 1.8 to one. So I'm trying to get my note that my best is two to one. So that means in the total stroke per seconds, it took me just under one second to make that stroke. 0.32 was my forward stroke, so I was accelerating because my back stroke took 0.57. So these metrics you can use, and I'll go back into the screen where it shows all, the, all of them. And if you took this one here that's blue, it shows you why it's so good. My back stroke in actual fact, if you go back to the start, you can see I had de-lofted by 1.2 degrees, so my 3 degree putter was essentially a 1.8 degree putter. My lie decreased by 0.6, which means it's going down. I only had a rotational change of 0.1. That means I'm hitting, I, my, my forward rotation went 3.1, my back rotation was 3. So if you can match up those two numbers, it tells you you're hitting the ball pretty square. Anyways, that's a quick little way that you can see and find putts that you can help you get better with video and with a sensor. Blast Golf, 
Really cool technology. Thought you'd like it and think about it. Go out and get one. Try it. I think you might enjoy it. Thanks. My name's Doug Lurie, and thanks for tuning in. So I almost forgot. I said I was going to show you how to color code them. So here's how you color code it. So you take the putt that you actually want to look at and say this one that I reviewed before. So I only had a 0.1 degree of rotational change. So that would be a pretty good one. You go into the actual component where it says, right beside the recording, it says, there's a little circle there. You grab that. It shows you these metrics. Underneath it says best, good, bad. So I really like that putt. That was a really good putt because my rotation was around three degrees, both back and, and through. When I get into five, five degrees of rotational change, that's a lot. So you want to, I like to see three. So I'm going to make that best. And a really cool thing is, is I just X out of that and go back to the screen where all of them are set up and you can see that the, it's marked as best. So if I want to get rid of the other ones, Hold it, comes up with an X, hit X, it says, do you want to get rid of it? Yes. Same thing with the one on the other side? Yes. And that final one, yes. So now, when I'm done, and I go back in, you'll see all the putts that I've got in here that are my best are displayed. Okay? So there's a great way that you know what are your good putts, what are your bad putts, courtesy of Blast Golf. Thanks.